just the breath. As you feel comfortable to close your eyes, give a little press down into your sits bones, give a little press down into your legs and lift up through your heart, lift up through your sternum. And notice even that, you know, that lift of sternum, if that adds to the anxiety, if that feels uncomfortable, First, we're just noticing where we're at, not really trying to affect too much, except our basic posture. And then as much as you can in this practice, we're gonna breathe through the nose. Importantly, in the nose, out the mouth, ah, is great. Sighing out, singing out, crying out, laughing out, whatever wants to move. Or, <laughs> horse lips, a lion's breath or toning, uh, sighing, that one was more of a sigh, or long tones, uh, also blowing with pursed lips. So right now, just play with your breath a bit and see what feels good for you. All of these breaths are gonna to help to relax the nervous system. I just put him out and he just came back in, so he may not wanna go. Cats are still getting used to the new home and it's crazy outside. <laughs> so he didn't stay all long. All right, smart cats. So big breaths in the nose. Out the mouth. As you breathe in this way, let the breath be around five seconds, like four to 10 seconds, four to 10, that's a big lump. <laughs> four to six, between four and six seconds. Let these full breaths embrace the entirety of your being, the entirety of your experience right now. Let the exhale as much as you can, release tension, release busyness, release the anxiety and fear. So as we inhale, we wanna notice whatever's present without judgment or story. It is natural for our body minds <laughs> to feel a little afraid or a lot afraid right now. It's okay. We've all been going through so much for so long with pandemic and now with fire as well. And all the emotional stuff for so many of us that have happened amidst that relationship changes and the home changes. So may we really hold ourselves today. Maybe now even begin that holding one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart and receive your breath deep and full in the nose, out the mouth. <sighs> With the breath at this length, we'll have about five or six breaths a minute. And it takes about two minutes to shift our physiology. So it really takes two minutes of committing to this sort of breath to be able to shift out of that fight, flight, fear phase. And into a little softer. And all that we'll do next will help that. Please sit up higher if it's not comfortable for you to sit the way that you are. Or lie down, except you'll be more alert sitting up. Maybe you take a little pause at the top of the inhale and notice and feel what's present. And a little pause at the bottom of the exhale, same thing. Uh, well 
welcome each breath as a gift, as a blessing, as an affirmation to your whole, perfect, and unique existence. A few more breaths. Ah, feel your body, feel the hold of your precious vessel, your body. Hmm. And let's begin to work our way downward. So stay with that long full breath as much as you can. And we're going to do what I got from my friend Madalena from Eden um, Energy Medicine, one of the million things, and bring our, um, take, do a peel away. So we're going to bring the fingers just like a little curved fingertips all even together there and bring them to the crown of your head. Um, actually, no, sorry. Let's start at the top of the forehead. So just like where your hairline is there, a pinky finger right there, top of the forehead, and press into that center line and just give a little wiggle side to side of your scalp over your skull and for anyone who knows these practices yes i improvise and i add things from other practices because oh i've been doing this all for about 32 years now is that right since i was 16 i started learning uh, uh healing practices that's when i got sober <clears throat> For those of you who know me, know I'm not sober <laughs> all the time anymore, but I'm well balanced. <laughs> and so you know I'm not a friend. Okay. And now we're going to press into the fingers there and just kind of peel down. Imagine you're peeling away any tension, any busyness, just peeling away. A little pressure, peel down. And we're going to peel down to the jaw, to the center of the jaw, to that masseter muscle there. Let the jaw hang, ha, a little pressure, and go ahead and massage into it. And then pull down and pull out through your chin and just throwing anything away there. That's not serving you. And we'll come one set of fingers behind where you were. So again, little wiggle side to side, getting the scalp loose. And if you wear glasses, you might take them off. If you wear contacts, you might want to wear glasses <laughs> in this um, weather. <clears throat> I'm going to keep them on just so I can see everybody, even though it'll be more complicated. And I notice I often do like a tension thing of holding my glasses on, which we're looking to release here. So now again, pull down from that center, peeling, peeling any tension out of the skull. And this time we're going to go along the side um, back behind the ears. And behind the ears, there's like a little nubby bone there. We're going to pause there and massage. This is a place where the vagus nerve is close to the skin. So you want to, uh, usually it'll make you take a big breath if you connect to vagus nerve. And that just happened for me. hope it does for you. And then we're going to pull down from there and you can kind of rub along the side of your neck and then come down to the tops of your shoulders and give a little grab to the tops of your shoulders like a squeegee and pull down and forward. And then down the side body, down and out through your hips, through your legs, out into the earth. Come back up. Again, here you should be about crown of the head. And again, a little wiggle side to side, loosen. Big breaths, keep those long full breaths going throughout the practice as much as you can. And again, rub down, pull down, releasing tension there, pulling down to like center back. So on either side of your spine with a little space and further back behind where we were, there may be another nubby bone there and pause and give that a little rub as you like and then bring that rub down into the neck breathe into whatever sensations are arising <sighs> all the way down to the tops of the neck again and squeeze squeeze any tension off those shoulders and pull down and forward wow usually i wear a bra under this shirt and i'm seeing maybe i should <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just lighting everything out today. Here we are together in my living room. All right. And now we're going behind. <laughs> I'm here for your comedy amusement as well as your health care, which, you know, laughter is good for the transverse of dominus and it also creates happy hormones. So we're behind the crown, crown now on the back of the head. A little side to side rub. <clears throat> getting that scalp loose over the skull and then pull and rub if you like my hair is pretty thick there so I gotta kind of weasel my way through it and pull down base of the skull either side of the spine again you might find some nubby little bones there and circle around them or side to side <sighs> again if you are just compelled to take a deep full breath and you know you found a, a close connection to the vagal nerve to the surface vagus nerve wanders throughout the body and really alerts the system to when we need to hide run um, etc and so we're looking to just relax that let it know we're okay we're okay it might not look like it might not feel like it and we're okay grab onto those shoulders squeeze you down and down on the sides and down on the legs. Take pause, breathe, notice the shift in energy. Shake your hands out if you like, adjust your seat as you like, and let's come to the forehead. I'm gonna take my glasses off for this one. I can still mostly see you. And we'll make little meow, kitten paws meow, with your hands. So just a soft fist. And we're going to take those center knuckles together on your forehead. And same thing here, little side to side on the forehead. And you could circle that as you like. Circle it the other way. And then circle wide, circle wide, circle wide, circle wide out to the temples and pause. Big breaths in the nose. <sighs> out the mouth. Let your jaw hang again and circle down to your jaw, to that place between the upper and lower jaw. You might also pause your circling and eject or protrude a bit your middle knuckle there and pause and press up and in into that big masseter muscle between the upper and lower jaw and breathe into that pressure. <sighs> well, that makes me want to cry. Well, right now I think, but... <sighs> <sighs> so a lot of us resist our emotions by gripping in the jaw. So we ask the jaw to release. We might feel things and it's okay to feel things. You're at home and you can cry if you want to. And if I did cry, it wouldn't be my first time. I have cried so many of these videos in the last seven months. <laughs> big circles, big circles. Now washing that out. <sighs> And then pull down. So you've got, oh, I love you, Catherine, thank you. So you've got your thumb now under the edge of your jaw and pull down and forward. And we're gonna look to take any of that emotional stuff out. You don't need to know what it is. We're just inviting emotion to move through us <laughs> and pull it down and out through the jaw and out through your chin and throw it away. Okay, earplug, there we go. Okay. And let's roll the shoulders, roll your mouth, like wow, wow. So really your whole face, you're scrunching up for that W of your wow, and then opening real big with the wow, wow, wow. And go the other way. Take pause, 
Allow yourself to feel whatever's present. Breath in the nose. Breath out the mouth or the nose. Thank you, Ramona. Thank you for your shares, everyone. It feels good to feel you there. <sighs> Other people are saying they're crying, so I'm telling Tony because she can't see. <sighs> Thank you for your tears. And let's reach our arms out to the sides and push strongly down into your foundation or into the earth, whatever is easy for you. And use that rooting down to courageously lift your heart to this apocalypse. <laughs> Inhale here. And as you exhale, right ear to the right shoulder and reach out or down through the fingers. So you could press down through those left fingers or you could reach them out to the side. Really active hands. Spread the fingers wide. And then roll gentle through the neck, through the hand. And breathe it. Soft jaw. Uh, maybe a little nod towards that shoulder. And then pull from that hand and come on back to center. Notice the difference in your sides. And let's go into the other side. Root those left fingers down. Press into them. Lift the heart. And, oh no, yeah. Root both fingers down. And reach, reach, reach. And heavy, heavy left ear. Again, you can stay with that with the rooting of the fingers. Or as inspired, lift that hand up. Not too high. We still want it to reach down. We're looking to elongate this side of the neck. Spread out through the fingers. And... As inspired, maybe a little roll through the head, through the hand, soft jaw. I love you. Is your sound? self-expression, vibration. That's what the vagus nerve wants to soothe it. <sighs> so please adjust your seat as needed to be comfortable in your seat or you're laying down. And usually that means coming up higher. Pull from that hand and come up when you're ready. And then just a nice fluid roll out through neck, shoulders, mouth. And now we're gonna invite the breath deeper into where it's likely not going very easily. So bring your right hand across the body to the left ribs. We're gonna be sitting just a little while longer and then we'll get more active. And left arm up and over. You might even hold just the bottom of the ribs there and lungs. So that goes down almost to the waist or even into it maybe. And pull that hand up and over and pull the breath into your bottom hand. And here also we begin to cross our limbs across the body. And this relaxes the vagus nerve too. Essentially it's kind of because the nervous system gets confused. And so it calms. <laughs> Why is my left hand on my right? Which one's right? Which one's left? <sighs> Breath scooping into the bottom tip of that lung, scooping out any particulate matter. And with our strong exhales, <sighs> letting it go. <sighs> Come on back up. Again, just take pause. Notice the difference in the sides. Maybe you also notice the shifting in your energy body from welcoming courageously this much life 
in today. Maybe energy, emotions are moving. That's also energy body. Second side, left hand wrapping around, holding the bottom of the right lung or ribs there. And reach up and over through that top hand. Get as much length as you can. And pull the breath down into the hand. Sorry to mention this on the other side, but one way to help direct the breath into the side body is that as you begin to inhale, engage your core a bit. Pull the navel back so it doesn't go into the belly of the breath. It will come more into your hand. See if you can feel that. Ah, scooping in, exhaling strongly out. If you have a neck issues, options here, again, sorry, getting better as I go today too. You could also hold your head and just reach through the elbow so the neck is not strained. <sighs> Whoa. I'm back to center again, just neutral spine pause or a little fluid roll around. Feel that aliveness that's coming in your body. And again, as we invite this much energy and emotion, even with that to move through us, you may find yourself getting anxious. If you do, please bring hands back to belly and heart. Slow the breath down, especially even lengthen the exhale out. So lengthening out the exhale is going to help even more to relax the nervous system. Also, you could touch the earth and your body. Just find a grounding, literal grounding. Imagine any energy that you don't wish to keep flowing down into the earth to be transmuted with her superpowers of transmutation. Let's move a bit further down into the spine now before we um, shift to some laying down stuff. So hold your knees or whatever is comfortable to you there, your knees or your thighs. And inhale as you pull on your knees, pour your pelvic bowl forward, reach your heart forward. As you exhale, push into your knees and pull your navel back around the spine, chin to chest. Keep going with the breath in that way. Inhaling it to rock forward, open heart, really fluid spine, and exhale, navel back, rounding. Last two. And come on up, find it neutral. Ooh, birthday suit. Press down into the earth. <laughs> Lift tall through your heart. <sighs> Begin to imagine into any word, mantra, or image that holds an energy of something that you would choose to direct your energy to today. So our minds default to the negative because that's to keep us safe. We got to know what's going to kill us so we can run from it, right? And consciously we know probably we're, this isn't going to kill us today. If you're close to it, watch the news maybe instead of me. But I think we're all far, far enough away right now, everyone here. And so <sighs> letting ourselves know that we're okay. And choosing the thoughts that we'll focus on. So thoughts will arise. We can acknowledge them. But we want to choose what we're focusing on through our practice as we're building energy and we and that energy is going to go where the mind goes. I am safe. I am at ease. 
I am trusting the ways of life, the waves of life. I am love and revolution. Whatever it is, find a mantra for yourself or an image, if that works better for you. And let's begin to imagine all this energy of our practice, even the energy of intensive emotion beneath the story, it is pure energy and it'll go where your mind goes. So find a focal point, see it, repeat it, breathe it, exhale, touch the earth ground, give thanks for these practices. Thank you to all of my teachers throughout all time and space from all lineages. And most especially, most of what I share will be from yoga and most of that from the tantric tradition from the Kashmiri Valley in India. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And follow your next inhale when you're ready to open wide and gather up energetically. And bring the palms together and center and focus the hands to the crown of the head. May we awaken to our oneness, to our interconnectedness. And hands to the third eye center. May we see clearly, knowing beyond words, the big picture. And hands to the mouth. May we speak our truth. May we sing our songs. May we be a voice for the voiceless. Maybe even the trees, if we naturally did this, likely wouldn't be happening this way. And hands to the heart. May we be present for whatever arises, whatever learning in this time of revelation, which is literally what apocalypse means, is to reveal so much truth being revealed right now. So much asking for help, asking for awareness, asking for restructuring reperspecting. May we be present courageously for that. What is our part in it? We can't do it all. Let us not be overwhelmed by the big picture, but see clearly our part in it. May it be for the greatest good. Breathe your intention, your yes, I am. And if you're not comfortable with your hands in this um, universal sign of oneness or prayer position, that's okay. A lot of people aren't. You can just rest your hands on your heart. Wherever you're at, feel your heartbeat. Breathe and repeat your yes. I am at ease, riding the waves of life. I am trust and flow. I am courageous compassion. I am love and revolution. Exhale and pour your breath out. Inhale your hearts, yes, if you will join me. One great om, open jaw for the ah in the beginning and mm, ng, still open jaw at the end, looking to vibrate the whole body. Exhale empty, inhale your yes. Oh, oh, the vibration of the universe. And I want to invite you now to hring, the becoming, the coming to be, that unfolding of truth and new ways of being. Exhale empty, inhale your hearts, yes. Exhale and flow your arms down. Inhale, fly the arms up, right arm over left. And give yourself a big, big hug. 
Cross the arms over as far as you can and walk the hands back around the scapula. You might take a moment there to palpate those muscles around your shoulder blades, top of the shoulders. Stay with that as you like. And then pull down heavy, heavy, heavy arms grounding into the chest. So many benefits here. One, free hug. Two, again, crossing the arms over nervous system grounding. And also a nice stretch of the shoulders for lots of us. We're going to follow this through into a deeper stretch of the shoulders if it's right for you. So stay here and breathe. Or spiral your arms, eagle arms, palms together if you can. Maybe you're holding a thumb. Maybe back of the palms are pressed together. Either way, any way that you are, press into it. Lift the elbows up. Slide the shoulders down the back and reach the hands away from the face as much as you can, kind of above the elbows there. Keep that action, elbows up, shoulders down, hands away, and make like you're trying to bust the arms open out to the sides. And breathe that stretch of your shoulders. Stay with that, our last few breaths. Maybe lift elbows, face, chest, keep the shoulders descending. And as you exhale, elbows to solar plexus, curl in again. Squeeze the breath out. Let the arms be really heavy there so you get more stretch. Follow your breath twice again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, curl in. Once again. And then unwind, give your neck, shoulders, and mouth a nice fluid roll around. And yeah, you might switch the cross of your legs here if you haven't. Last little bit in the seat for real this time. I just really want to honor that I did say you could do this all in bed. So arms set and big cross over with the arms, left arm on top. Reach those hands back as far as you can. Grab your scapula. Give yourself a little palpation there, a little massage. Tops of the shoulders. <sighs> Stay with that or pull the elbows down, ground into your chest. And again, if you naturally feel that um, big <sighs> breath arise, that is vagus nerve stimulated, toned, toning. <sighs> really receive your hug, receive your own comfort, your own self-love and care. Thank you. Thank you, body. Stay with that as you like, or spiral deeper, eagle arms, elbows up, shoulders down, hands away from the face as much as you can. Again, try to keep those opposite actions and make like you're trying to bust the arms open out to the sides. Stay with that or three more breaths. Inhale, lift elbows, face, chest. Keep the shoulders descending. And as you exhale, curl in. Elbows to solar plexus, round in. Squeeze your breath out. Couple more. And then come up, unwind, roll your shoulders out. <clears throat> and let's come to lie down. You might have a block near you or ha also have a pillow or a blanket near you, um, whatever you want. Also, of course, if you're in bed, yay, you're all set. Um, but <laughs> we're going to start out with some... Um, back body awareness, some spinal stuff, and some pretty intensive breath and core stuff at some point. So whenever you need to, you can come back to some of the gentler things as you like. And, you know, there is benefit to creating like an intensive state to adding to what we're doing on purpose so that we know 
we're doing this on purpose. This anxiety is not a necessary thing that I need to believe. It's something that I can feel and even intentionally channel and then move. So we'll get to that in a moment. Let's just hug into your knees first. More hugs. Yay. Look, we're doing great today. I don't know about you, but well, I had my roommate, so this is good. So this is four now. Four hugs already in pandemic. We're rocking it. Hugging in. Rock into the back body, side to side. Stay with that as you like. When you're ready, you could hold the knees with your hands together and draw circles around your sacrum. Just massage into the lower back. And then draw those circles both directions. Long, slow breaths in the nose, out the mouth. Slow the breath down, about five seconds or six. Less four is fine too, it's okay. And then take your knees in separate circles, draw circles wide and back together. <sighs> Switch directions. <sighs> And then curl up and hug into your knees. Inhale here. And as you exhale, extend the left leg out as you hug your right knee in. Inhale here as you exhale, switch. Inhale here. Exhale, switch. With your breath. Let that hug in and that inhale be as important as the exhale and the core work, yeah. Lost one or two, whatever you need to get even on both sides. Once you're even, take pause, rest your head. And inhale and stretch your arms out overhead and extend your legs out. Reach, reach, reach through your arms and legs. And let's just take a quick little stretch here. Walk the feet over to your right and cross the left ankle over your right. Reach your hands up on the floor over to your right and take hold of that left wrist. And now reach out through the feet and through the hands. Big breath in. <sighs> Another big breath in here. And then come on back through center and walk the legs over to the other side. Cross the ankles over. Hold your wrist and reach up and over. Big, big breath. Last big inhale here. Exhale back to center. Inhale, reach arms up, reach out through the heels. And exhale, swoop the arms to hold the thighs, lift the shoulders and the heels uh, just a few inches each. Hold steady here. If this is too much for you, options. Lower one heel, hold your head. One or both of those options could help turn the volume down a bit. Otherwise, hold steady here. Simply hold steady. Or maybe a little uh, Pilates breath here added to Kapalabhati. So you might kind of fluff your hands here and strong exhales from the pelvic floor, from your diaphragm out the nose. In which case you might need a tissue. Keep it going or blow your nose. <laughs> That's what it's for. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen. Here we go. <sighs> Pull your feet in. Bring your elbows alongside your body. Take a minute. I was on camera. Oh my god! It's all coming out today. 
and elbows bent, hands face each other, press into the elbows, squeeze the shoulders on the back, lift your chin. <sighs> Next inhale, press into your heels, lift your hips, lower back, middle back, upper back, lift your chest, lift your chin. Get some muscular action in the shoulders and the pressure in the center back of the head. Please do not turn your head to the side once you're fully engaged in this pose. Squeeze the legs together. Here's where a block can be helpful, even your imaginary block. Squeeze onto it and spin that block down towards the earth. Lengthen out through the tailbone, lift through navel, lift through heart, lift chin. You want the pressure right on the center back of the head to reverse that technic thing that we get these days. Big breaths in the nose and uh, out the mouth. You could sigh it out, you could sing it out. And really when I say out, I mean sing down into your heart. Try to vibrate your heart. Open jaw, open throat, long ahs for two here. Uh, Last big inhale, whenever you're ready, lift up. And as you exhale, ripple down. Step the feet wide and inhale both knees to one side as you reach up through the arms and exhale knees back through center. Inhale knees to the other side, reach through your arms, exhale knees back through center. Follow your breath side to side. You see how you really could do all this in bed? I wanna hear from anyone if you did do the whole thing in bed or any of it even. And come back in, hug your knees in. Inhale, exhale, curl into your knees. We're gonna come back into that little boat as you're ready, hugging in, and then reach out through the heels, lift the shoulders up. Hold the legs or your head or whatever you need, please modify as need to. Again, that could be one heel to the ground. If you did one this last time, next one. Here we go. Holding steady here, or you could add those little Pilates arms and the Kapalabhati or breath of fire. Key breath that we're using to cleanse. Every exhale, pelvic floor flies up, navel flies back. We're also stimulating lots of happy hormones with this breath and this core work for 20. Pull the breath out, step the feet in. Feet as wide as your hip points, bones in the front. Again, you could use your block there if you like. And this time we're gonna bring the arms up overhead on the floor. Reach through the arms, slide the shoulders down the back, palms face each other, press into the heels, lift your hips, stretch out. Here again, we could go for that front body, side body, so as line. And reach through one arm and one knee, stretch it out. That's your inhale as you exhale. Back to center, inhale. Reach to the other arm and the knee. Notice the chin wants to dip a lot as you do this. Try to keep that lift of the chin and the rooting into the center back of your head. Side to side, inhale, stretch. Exhale, neutralize. One more set or whatever you need to to get even on both sides. Inhale, reach it out, exhale and ripple down. Inhale, stretch the legs back out. Options, you can swoop back up to that same low boat, any variation that's right for you, or maybe you swoop on up to a big boat. In which case you could hold your legs, knees could be bent, lift your chest. You could hold the earth or legs straighten, arms straighten, but only if you can keep lifting from your sternum and lifting from the lower back. Breathe here. If you're really feeling it, your arms could be up. If that makes the pelvis roll back, then keep the arms straight out, pulling the shoulders on the back. Hold steady here, breathful in the nose, out the mouth, lengthen that breath out. Or Aja Kapalabhati. If you want to, add legs, crisscrossing. 
down and back up. Twenty. back down to earth oh yeah and press into the heels lift up keep the knees equidistant with your hip points this time interlace the fingers behind you if you're able or hold the sides of your mat or your bed sheets whatever you got squeeze the shoulders on the back puff up your chest lift your chin press into the center back of the head and breathe courageously wide across the wings of your heart in the nose for a count of four to six or repeat your mantra I am. <sighs> Simply breathful, singing, sighing, laughing, crying, or long tones vibrating the heart again, open jaw, open throat. Really try to sing down into your heart. Let her know you're okay. Ah. Ah. Lost inhale, puff it up. Exhale, ripple it back down whenever you're ready. <sighs> Step your feet again as wide as your mat, unless you have a six foot mat like me. <laughs> and side to side with your knees as you reach the arms up overhead. Breath practice here. Get the breath lengthening into the side body and that iliopsoas hip flexor. Uh, inhale the lengthening, exhale the transition. Okay, we got a few more practices we're gonna do on the earth here, and then we'll do just a little bit of standing stuff before we ground again at the end. So with that, I love this sequence. If you practice with me a lot, you probably know it because it's really great for chair dwellers. With the feet as wide as the mat, both knees to your right, cross your right ankle over your left thigh. So it starts out, feet as wide as the mat, both knees to the right, right ankle over left thigh. So you're helping to draw that thigh long. If there's any sharp knee pain here, maybe don't do the crossover or support underneath your shin. If you want to add to that, you could hold you know, the wrist, the left wrist or the same side as your bottom leg and pull up and over again, elongating there and breathe into the sensation. Breath in the nose. <sighs> Breath out the mouth. Please stay with that as long as you like, front hips, or we're gonna go more into lateral hips. When you're ready, keep the setup of the legs and exhale, pick that bottom thigh up. Interlace the hands behind the bottom thigh and draw it back towards you as you ease the top thigh away. Pull in as you press away, soft jaw, soft tongue. Really flex that top ankle strongly, toes drawing back so that ankle is straight and strong. It's going to help protect your knee. Pull in as you press away, playing with the isometrics to find space in that hip. And you can stay with that. Pull in, press away as it is. Or if you want more back body line, extend that left or lower leg up. Walk up over the top ankle, curl into that leg. Maybe draw it towards you. And if you're more flexible, maybe towards overhead in a plow pose, which again is also really grounding for the nervous system, unless you're very tight in your hamstrings and back body, then this may not 
be a place that feels breathful to go. Be where you are breathful, please. Please stay with that or keep the setup of the legs, but bend that bottom knee and interlace the hands behind the head. We're gonna come back into some core work. Keep that top foot flexed a lot, draw those toes back, especially pinky toe side. Pinkies, they, have, they need their own invitation often. Inhale, open here, elbows wide, shoulder blades on the back. And as you exhale, pull your navel back, pull that bottom knee back, curl sacrum and shoulder blades off the earth. Inhale, open, exhale, curl. Don't let your neck do any work here. Don't pull with the arms or the head. Just the core. Navel back. Bottom thigh pulls back. Clearing out. Strong exhales. Breath in the nose as much as you can. At your own pace, it could be faster or slower. Three, two, one. Keep the setup of the legs and then cross body with that right foot. So the outer left thigh is going to lay on the ground, the right foot's going to stand on the ground. So we're in a twisted shape, uh, same shape, twisted variation. It could stay here and just kind of push into that top thigh, let it be a mellow place. Or I'm really looking to get us all some happy hormones today and do some lots of cleansing for the organs. So more core. Right hand stays behind the head or whatever legs on top. Inhale, left arm reaches up. And exhale, reach that left arm past your right thigh. So you got a rotated outer little twist there. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach. Again, don't pull the head. Keep the elbow wide, shoulders on the back hand holding the weight of the head. So the necks relax. Shoulders are in their integral position, benefiting from this as well. Three more. Come on down, unwind when you're done. And back to that just yummy good morning stretch there. I love to do this one in bed for real. Feet wide as your mat. Knees side to side. Stretch it out. And again, stay with this side to side as long as you like or when you're ready with your feet wide. Both knees to the left, left ankle over right thigh or your second side. Draw that thigh down and maybe take a hold of that right wrist and up and over to your left on the floor still, but just elongating that open side or bottom leg side. Breath in the nose. Ah, letting go. Breath out the nose. Please stay with that, or we'll come lateral hips when you're ready. Keep that setup of your legs. Pick the bottom thigh up and interlace the hands behind the bottom thigh. Flex that top foot a whole lot. Straight, strong ankle. Pull bottom thigh back. Ease top thigh away. Soft jaw rock into your hips and the low back. Big letting go breaths in the nose. Ah, out your mouth. Ah. Again, stay with that variation or more back body line. If you are so inspired, extend that right leg or bottom leg up, walk up over the top ankle. Curling into your leg, drawing it towards you to wherever your breathful edge is there. No forcing. Please keep that ankle straight and strong. Maybe, maybe, maybe it rocks overhead. Wherever your edge is here, four or five more breaths. And 
next day with any of that stretchy stuff or unwind just enough to interlace the hands behind the legs. Have that ankle over knee set up, flex that top foot super strong, elbows wide. So when you're laying down, your scapula are flat on the back and the elbows and the arms are as well, as much as you can. Inhale here. And as you exhale, pull the bottom thigh back, navel back, sacrum up, shoulders up. Again, heavy head, soft neck, inhale, open, exhale, curl. And they could stay that slow. If you want to get yourself a little riled up on purpose, then you could go a little faster. Five. And take your time. Once you're done, land your right foot or bottom foot to the earth, cross body, left foot to the earth, outer right thigh land. Again, you could pause there and just kind of push into your thigh and stretch out and breathe. Or, <clears throat> excuse me, left hand or top leg hand holds your head. Inhale, right arm up, opposite arm, and reach past that thigh. So you're going cross body, both scapula are coming up. Inhaling, open. Exhale and reach. Four more. Whee! <laughs> and unwind. And let's take the knees wide for a moment and just rock into the legs and hips there. <clears throat> I think the other laying down thing I was going to do here, we're going to do right before Shavasana instead, which is not very far away, but I actually just want to get you to your front body a little bit. So hug your knees in and rock and roll on your spine. You might cross your ankles. You can enjoy this rock and roll as long as you like, or if you have room, you're gonna, <clears throat> maybe, if you have room and your knees and ankles are okay with it, then maybe you roll over the ankles and onto hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Spread your fingers wide and claw the earth. Inhale, pull hands and knees towards one another, lift your tail, lift your crown. And as you exhale, Push the earth away, drop your tail, drop your crown, lift your navel strongly. Moving with your breath, inhaling long and slow, open, long and slow, curl in. And again, you might add to that exhale some sound or lion's breath here, really sticking your tongue out and squeeze the bottom tips of your lungs to do a little inner cleansing there, a little more inner cleansing. If you want to get all crazy with your kundalini with me, you can. So go as slow as you like, like we began, or inhale, open fast, exhale. like the high keep that going all you like or press back child's pose push your hips back rest your forehead give your hips a little wiggle and big breaths in the nose big belly soft belly and uh, your mouth Any letting go breaths there, or once you feel breathful again, if you would like to, Brahmari, bees breath. Let's roll the palms up. So the palms are rolled open, thumbs are rolling towards the earth. You could stay with that. You probably feel that um, behind the heart, thoracic spine, <sighs> rhomboids between the shoulder blades. Or you could bring the hands together, bend your elbows, walk the hands forward. 
So just some options there for shoulder attention as we breathe the heart and let all of that big energy turn into sweet honey in the heart. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, lips are parted slightly and brahmari, like the end of the om, a bee's breath, ng. To add to the bee's breath, you could lift pelvic floor and lift the tongue to the tip of the tongue to the highest point in the mouth and lift the eyes all towards third eye center, looking to create a needle, a thread of vibration, clearing the body mind, channeling that energy to your intention. Breathe and repeat your intention, your yes to life. Mm. Simply allow yourself to be breathed. Feel the energy of your aliveness. See and repeat again your mantra, your intention, your yes, I am. Please stay there mellow as you like or slowly as inspired. Begin to unwind, arms out in front of you, palms down now. Turn your toes under and lift from your hips up and back, down dog. And let's step the feet very wide for this down dog. So outer hip width or maybe even a little wider. Pull back strongly from your strong core, very strong core all of you today. Inhale, lengthening back, long spine, chest moving towards thighs. Spread those fingers wide and claw your fingertips. Feel how the more you pull back from the core and the hips, the less weight is in your hands. Bend your knees deeply and open your knees wide so your middle knees and your middle toes are equidistant and pull the chest back between the thighs. Try to keep that lower back moving in, long spine that you get from that action and straighten the legs or move them towards straight. They can stay as bent as they need. Bend the knees wide, pull back as you kind of squat froggy style here and then straighten back out. Relax your neck, keep the head heavy, neck soft. A few more. Move with your breath. Inhale and exhale could be on either pattern. It's up to you. We're going to bend into the knees one more time and walk your hands back between the feet. If your knees are not happy with this, then please come up higher. You could also sit, you could be on top of the knees instead of inside of them. You could also sit onto a block or furniture and do a lot of what we're about to do. So using the elbows, press wide. So squats, hip openers help to ground the nervous system as well. Obviously good for digestion as well. And um, also just standing with your feet wider than your normal stance also has some grounding properties. Big breaths in the nose, ah, out the mouth. Stay here or spiral here. Push the right arm 
wide into that leg, hand to the floor, and inhale, open left hand, face chest to the sky. Exhale, left hand back down, press wide with that upper arm, and inhale, right arm, face chest open. Let's move with the breath twice again to each side. And then push into your hands, press into your feet, forward fold. You could have the feet any way that feels good for you here. Bend the knees as much as you need, maybe even give them a little bounce as we invite everything to bounce. Shimmy your shoulders here, side to side. Give your head a little nod or roll around. Everything noodly, everything loose. I encourage those weirdo sounds. And just empty out. Bounce. Bounce, empty out, empty out your spine, empty out your head. <sighs> empty out your throat, your spine. <sighs> it's working. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing in your ear, in the mic that's in my ear. <sighs> And then hug your feet to the earth. Hug your muscles to the bones. You can hold your elbows or hold the base of your skull here to traction the spine more. Whatever feels good for you. So if you hold the elbows, more stretch in the shoulders, holding the head more back body line, lengthening neck and spine, or just let the arms dangle. Inhale and hug all the muscles to the bones. Keep your head heavy as you exhale. Lift your arches. Lift your kneecaps, lift your navel. One vertebra at a time, root to rise, slow and steady. Come on up to stand. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Okay. Wait, a little further back. All right, coming up to stand. <laughs> There's my birthday suit shirt. Get ready. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we're gonna step wide into superstar pose. So going into that, bam, feeling your place on the earth. <clears throat> ah, the clearing is working. <laughs> feet wide, feet parallel, muscles hug bones, squeeze to center, shoulders on the back, hug to center, inner thighs active and engaged. Ah, feel your power here, your strength, your courageous opening to this day, even though it's a scary day. <clears throat> yes, I am. Feel all that aliveness, all that energy cultivated. Channel it to your yes. Shine it out. Let it be your truth. Let it inspire those around you. Inhale here, exhale, bend the right knee and pivot. Tiny little standing flow here. Sink into that and bring your right elbow to that right thigh. Push in and roll ribs, face, chest to the sky. And then reach that top arm up and over. Again, going for that side body line. Lots of big breath there. <clears throat> Big inhale here as you exhale, straighten that front leg, bring your hand to your shin, roll face chest open, scoop the shoulders down the back, lay back. Stay there or reach the arm away, bottom ear heavy to the shoulder, nice neck shoulder release there as you arm vinyasa or move the arm with your breath, inhaling open circle, exhale reaching back, closing the circle. Well, now we all know if there ever is a time that we have to run that I will run without a bra, but with jewelry. I have proven that <laughs> this morning. What are my priorities as I get dressed today? <laughs> Late, because I thought it was still the middle of the night. Jewelry, because joy, and no bra, because mm, breath. All right, swoop on through and pull yourself up from that top arm. 
<clears throat> parallel the feet back, superstar. Hug to core. <clears throat> Breathful, I am. Inhale here as you exhale, bend that left knee, pivot, bend in, <clears throat> sink in deep, and let's bring the elbow to that thigh. Press the thigh wide and reach that top hand up overhead. <clears throat> I don't want to get kicked off YouTube, so I'm going to try to keep closing it up. <laughs> and big breaths, long, long side body, stretch it out, reach over your head there, breathful into the bottom tip of that lung again. Stay with that as you like or straight in the front leg, hand to the shin and roll the ribs, face chest to the sky, scoop the shoulder blades down the back and lay back. Stay with that or arm vinyasa. Big breaths, inhaling open. Exhale, reach back, swoop. Let your next one pull you back up. A little brief moment in your hero pose and super stars, yeah. And just shake your booty. Why not? Just cause. Why not? Let's leave this place dancing. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, but maybe not today. Inhale right here. Exhale, swoop in. Arms in, heels in, and toes out. Sink in. Devi Asana. Inhale, stretch up. You want your knees and toes pointing in the same direction. Go with that lion's breath again here. Again. One more. And right elbow to the right thigh. Inhale, reach. Left elbow to the left thigh. Inhale, reach. Yeah, this is probably hard to do in bed. And you can do this sitting on the side of your bed. Lost set, even up. And then we're going both elbows to both thighs. Actually, let's not. Let's just skip that. Hands to the thighs, toes down. Press the thighs wide. Stick your booty out. Reach your heart forward. Long spine. Inhale. Exhale. Press into that left thigh. Pull your navel back. Spiral. Look over the right shoulder. Squeeze. This is our last standing bit. We're coming back down to the earth after this. Inhale to open center. Exhale. Spiral. Squeeze the breath out. All the way. It never actually goes all the way, though, so you know. Your body's smart. It always keeps a little bit. Let's go one more each side. Inhale, open back center. Superstar. Ah, flow the arms down, clasp your hands, squeeze your shoulders on the back, breathe or your heart bright, again wide across the wings of your heart, yes, I am. Big heart breath, pull your feet together, spin your thighs back, reach your heart forward and bow in. Little bend in the elbows, work the shoulders together, relax the neck, give your head a little nod or roll around there. Ah. 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 Any exhale, flow the hands to the floor. Please stay in this forward fold as long as you like. Maybe even walk the feet wider. Maybe rest the head on the floor. Maybe stack up a block or elbows and fists, whatever you got there. Rest your head even more. A few more breaths in a forward fold. Forward folds also very grounding. Be with it. Imagine any tension or anything you don't need today, just dripping out your head to the earth here. If you can get some pressure on your forehead or crown, just notice how that feels to the body and the nervous system.
And please stay with that as long as you like. I'm going to invite you into one last twisty nervous system grounding thing on the back, laying down, and then I'll be done with you for today. Step on through, make your way to lay down as is right for you. And you may want to block for this. It's not crucial. It's just kind of like your um, <laughs> your alarm system. Sorry, I have to keep laughing at myself, flashing y'all. Happy birthday to me. Okay. <laughs> and hug your knees in, both knees to one side. You want the knees to be straight out from the hips. Oh, this will be a good one. And your bottom arm is going to come straight out from your shoulder, palm up. Knees straight out from the hips. So you really want to keep the knees connected here. So that you may put a block just exactly behind your sacrum. That's going to help make sure the SI joint stays connected. Knees staying connected is the cue. So keep that as much as you can. And when you're ready, we will have um, the top arm reach past that bottom hand. And then pull back with some pressure. Dig into your palm a bit with your fingertips. Dig into your wrist a bit with your fingertips. All the way up that inner line. This is your lung meridian. So we're helping the lungs to just clear that pathway. Or helping the body to clear that pathway for the lungs. And then you're going to roll that arm all the way open. Arm open to the side. <laughs> under the couch. And <laughs> rolling back through center. Again, reach past that bottom Inhale as you pull back, sliding along the arm with some pressure along the chest. This here, grounding from the nervous system, encouraging shoulders to open as well. Try to keep the knees connected so the twist comes through the spine. Follow your exhale to come back, tracing again along the chest, along your arm. It can really receive your own touch. It's grounding, it's nourishing. And with that pressure, you're doing extra good work there for your lung meridian. Breathing, open chest. You could choose to turn the head or not. If it's dizzying for you or anything, then maybe don't. And just go with your own breath cycle. As you exhale, come on back. Follow your inhale to open. And any time that you open, you could bring the bottom hand to your legs to hold them connected and turn as far as you can onto that left ear, palm up on that left hand and breathe your twist and just hold the twist. Otherwise, stay with that gentle flow in and out as inspired. We have got about five more breaths, so you choose flowing or holding steady. And take your time. Once you're done, come on back to center and flip your body around any way that's right for you so that the knees are again out from the hips. Opposite arm is on bottom and uh, 90 degrees with the knees straight out from hips, heels straight down, knees connected, sacrum level. And then reach that top hand past your bottom hand. And as you pull back, put some pressure into that, pulling back like a bow uh, bowstring. <clears throat> Long meridian, open, 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 breathing, open your hearts, yes, and as you exhale, roll it on back. Again, we've got about five more breaths, so 
<clears throat> at any point you could turn this into the full twist rolling as far as you can onto that right ear right palm open left hand holds your knees down and across uh, letting go breaths sigh it out extend that exhale to really ground the nervous system and release as much metabolic waste and possibly particulate matter as possible. Please stay in the twist as long as you like or come back to center when you're ready. Some options for final resting. If you have a bolster, a pillow, a blanket or anything, you could um, roll it if it's blanket, uh, maybe rest with it just under the knees, even feet together, knees wide. Um, anything that helps to lift the knees a bit and move the femurs into the back body is gonna ground the nervous system more. If this feels too open for you right now, you could rest hands on belly and heart, put some pillows or blanket on you. Or options, you could just take a forward lying shavasana. Lay on your belly. Super grounding, you know it, at the beach. Don't burn your booty. And take your time. Find your final resting shape. And once you find that final resting shape, Inhale and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your muscles to your bones. And exhale, let go. Again, inhale and squeeze muscles to bones. Hug and gather up any tension or busyness. Hold it, exaggerate it, and then melt, melt, melt. Again, if there's any residual tension or busyness, exaggerate it, hold it, squeeze it, gather it up, tense it. Inhale, inhale, hold, hold, hold. Exhale, melt, 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 let go. Give your body to the earth. <sighs> Open your heart and mind to the sky. Let your muscles and bones be heavy, soft, relaxed. Feel that you are held and supported. May we trust the processes of this earth in this time of healing and renewal. And notice that you're being breathed. No efforting is required here. Let any efforting go. And feel how you are being breathed. Life is lifing itself to you, through you, as you. And simply observe waves of breath, waves of life coming in and out of form.
at the end of the exhale, breath surrenders to quietude. For a moment, we hang in the balance, suspended in the fertile spaciousness that is the source of breath. At the end of the inhale, filled with the song of breath, there is a moment when we are simply holding the tender mystery. In these interludes, experience opens into exquisite vastness with no beginning and no end. Embrace this infinity without reservation. You are its vessel. I encourage you to stay in any final resting shape or meditation as long as you are able or to make a little mark for yourself to take pause for meditation or breath or awareness practices later in your day, especially if you notice yourself getting anxious in any way. Maybe in this pause here, take a little review of what you did today that felt very nourishing, grounding, that felt like what you needed. Again, stay resting as you like, or as inspired. Begin to wiggle out through your fingers and toes, Spiral through your wrists and ankles. Breathe your body bright. Let it be the breath that brings you back. Let it be the breath that leads you forward. The breath as you, life itself, and your first and last teacher. Your breath informing you about what's next for you. Take whatever shapes or movements these deeper, fuller breaths inspire you to. Wiggle, stretch, and ultimately, whenever you're ready, come back to any easy seat. And take pause again once you get to your seat. To just feel the earth beneath you, your held, supported, loved. And feel the sky above you and prana shakti flowing on the breath of sky, kissing and blessing your body with yes to life. Once again, breathe and repeat your yes, I am. Touch the earth and ground down. Exhale and again, imagine just letting anything drip away that's not serving you. And follow any inhale to flow the arms up and gather up the energy of our collective practice near and far throughout time and space and draw that energy down to the crown of your head, awakening to our oneness and to the third eye center, seeing clearly knowing beyond words and hands to the mouth, speaking truth, singing our songs, expressing ourselves fully and hands to the heart. May we be present for whatever arises with courage, with kindness and with curiosity.
because the truth is, even though the smoke looked so much worse this morning, it was largely marine layer and we are having less smoke in our air than we have a lot lately. It's still all terrible and we're reminded of our impermanence and our connection to the trees, to all beings, the beings that live in the trees. <sighs> and so may all beings be safe. May all beings be joyful. And may we trust the constant turning, turning, turning of life and how different it can look always and stay curious about what our part in it is. Holding your hands in this universal sign of oneness or resting again upon your belly and heart, breathe your heart's yes to life, I am. One more big inhale, and if you will, join me, long om. Oh. And maybe one green to the blossoming of the lotus of your heart. Pinkies and thumbs touch, fingers blossom open. There's your lotus mudra. And breathing into your own blossoming, your own courageous opening and unfolding, whatever that may look like at this time. Green. Exhale, empty. Inhale your yes. Let's lift your heart courageously to the sky and ripple the beauty of you out into the world. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you for practicing. Namaste. Thank you, Mama Earth. Jai Ma. Thank you for practicing with me. Please reach out here. I'll stay on the Zoom for a little bit. Um, if you have any questions or comments, or you can find me Lucid Yoga, Lucid Yoga and Movement on Facebook, YouTube, or on my webpage. You can also send me donations or offerings of energetic exchange um, through Venmo or PayPal, lucid dawn lucidon at gmail. I'm going to stop the live stream now, and I'll be on for you Zoomers if anybody wants to have a check out. I always love to hear you at the end, too. If not, Ah, to all of you, enjoy your day.